assalamu alaikum dear students i hope you are fine today the topic we are going to learn is work problems of length textbook pages 213 214 and 215 our learning objective is to solve word problems involving length open textbook page number 213 this is an example page Question number one is about addition. A picture map is also displayed here. As you know, we use addition method when we have to add add two, three, or more numbers. Now turn to the next page that is two hundred and fourteen. Question number two is about multiplication. We use multiplication method when we have to add two. Add the same number again and again, or we can say multiplication is the repeated addition. Now, my dear students, hold a pencil in your hand as we are going to solve the next question on this page, that is question number three. First, I am going to read it for you. A carpenter cut a piece of wood ten meter long into five equal pieces. How long was each piece of wood? There is a uh, division sentence given there, and the last statement also here. If we read the question carefully, a carpenter is cutting, or we can say it's dividing a piece of wood into equal pieces. So, in the first empty box in the division sentence, we write ten, along with m. That stands for meter. In the second empty box, we write five. And in the third one, we write our answer. Division is not possible without multiplication, so we read five times table here. Five one times five, five two times ten. Our answer is two. We write two in the third empty box in the division sentence. Last statement: Each piece of wood was again two meter long. Now moving towards our next page. That is 215 of textbook. In this page, we have solving questions. So take out your notebooks, and if you do not have a notebook, take a loose sheet and solve the questions on it, and keep it safe with you. On a new page in your notebooks, write day, date, and classwork at the top. Then write topic, which is word problems. After that, write textbook page number two hundred and fifteen, and then you write your question number one there. Make a rough for column at the right side of the page so you can solve the questions there. Make a solution solution cloud also after writing the question. Question number one: Peter walked from his house to library. After some time, he he was thirty five meter. Meters away from the library. How far had he walked? <clears throat> a picture map <clears throat> is also displayed here. As you look at the map, the distance between Peter's house and library is mentioned, which is 120 meter. So this is our first statement. Distance between Peter's home to library is equal to is equal to 120 meters. Second statement. Now look at the question again. There is another another number, thirty five meters in the question. This is the distance which is left after walking. So we write the second statement. Distance left after walking is equal to thirty five meters. Third statement. Distance covered by Peter is equal to whenever in a question. A total number is given, and one part of the number is available, and the second number is missing. So, this means this is a subtraction question. So, we use subtraction method here. After writing the third statement, we write our subtraction sentence: 120 minus 35, and the answer is 85 meters. You can solve the question in the rougher code. Now turn, then turn to the next page of your notebook. Again, write classwork at the top, and then write question number two. Make a rougher column or 
on the right side of the page write question number 2 and again make a solu solution cloud here question number 2 Jane cycles from home to school passing the bank and the library as shown below how far does Jane, Jane cycle all together a picture map is again displayed here and as we look at the picture map all the distances are given there, there is a keyword in the question that is all together which is mostly used to use for addition sums this is an addition sum because we have to find out the total distance covered or how far does Jane cycle all together first we write the statement distance from home to library to bank is equal to 350 meters second distance from bank to library is equal to 240 meters third distance from library to school is equal to 150 meters last statement total distance covered by Jane is equal to 350 plus 240 plus 150 this is the addition sentence is equal to 740 meters and you will solve the question in your in your rougher column now students I am going to tell you about your homework that is 2B workbook page number 97 this page has only one question and which has two parts first write day and date at the top of the page then draw some lines in both parts so you can write neatly and make a rougher column as well before solving the question read them twice or thrice and then solve them inshallah by tomorrow i will upload my answer key of this page take care of yourselves allah hafiz